I have a little bit of good news and a little bit of bad news. I guess I'll give you guys the uh, the bad news first. Remember how I was supposed to go drifting a couple days ago? I kind of slept through my alarm and didn't wake up in time to go with everybody, so the BRZ wasn't on the track and I completely missed track day, Dan. We went to the beach though. We went to the beach though, yeah, we did do that. We still have my drift spares here. We will get some use out of these pretty soon whenever they go back to the track and I won't sleep through my alarm. The good news now is, we have BRZ mods to install today. Huge thank you to Ultra Racing. You guys have seen Ultra Racing on my channel before with the Type R. Ultra Racing was kind enough to send out a whole ton of nice racing parts for the BRZ that we're gonna install today. Before we do that, me and Danny are gonna give the BRZ a nice little drive test to see if we can see actually any improvement in the handling after we install all this stuff. Let's do it. Pretty stiff, dude. Yeah. It's pretty stiff already. Especially because my alignment is so set up for this. An idea that I had was to kind of check for body roll. I wanted to do the sharp turns, but with Dan outside the car to see if he can catch any of like the the hard turning. See if that works. We got some good tests done. Yeah. Hopefully you guys could see in that little like outside test to see if the car has any body roll, but we have tons of stuff to install. Let's uh, let's go over it. So I guess we'll start out with the basic stuff. To start out, I guess we'll go with the easy stuff. This is what they call a four point front bar. These are the two little front support bars that are in your engine bay. So not only do we have this, but we also now have a strut tower bar. So it's like double, double power up front. And then of course, we also have our rear sway bar here. This should honestly make a huge, huge difference overall on the car. So we'll obviously do comparisons between stock and ultra racing stuff to see how much more thick and uh, all that good stuff, all of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, front or rear first? Let's get the front stuff first because it's so easy. All right, let's do it. First off, we're gonna start with two front bars and these are just held on by 12 millimeter bolts, so super easy to get off. Oh, dude, where is this? Paper? Feel this. All right. <laughs> That's a huge dude, I difference. Take this I know. Have it on my leg right now. This is, I yeah. wish, dude, know what we need to get to the shop? Huh. A scale. To measure, There's so like, many things, things that I want to like weigh that I don't have a scale for, so. This is a, this is a little heavier, but it's just made better. It's just too. a thick boy right here. This feels like something you get from a fence. Yeah. Some quality stuff. Like you guys saw, super easy to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back on and then start with the rest. Dude, that looks so nice in the engine bay. And we still have the strut tower to put on. I really like the white with the World Rally blue color and the gold. That's super dope. She's sturdy, brother? She's sturdy, dude. It looks really nice. Not only is it gonna feel good, but it also looks good in the engine bay. That's dope. All right, now we're getting to the fun stuff, the rear sway bar. Now this one, this one actually takes a little bit of effort. We're raising the car right now, putting it on some jack stands, and then I'll show you guys where the sway bar sits. Oh, dude, this is called fitment right here. This is uh, what we look at fitment-wise. 
That's called some meat. That's that's dut fit right there. Oh, don't eat it. It's just some good tire. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, when you know you have a dut spec fit, man. <laughs> All right. Oh my, look at this, look at this child bar. Oh my God. Yeah, that is, this, this is where we're gonna find the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you see this? It's like a twig. That's the thickness of my. Uh, yeah, that's right. stop there. Uh, looks like two 12s. Okay. Also, the rear sway bar comes with bushings too, so you can swap out these bushings. Also, not only do you have to disconnect it where your bushings are, you also have an end link back here that connects to your lower control arm that you have to disconnect from it as well. Right in the fucking lower control arm. What, you dropped it? I, yeah. I've been looking at this tricep. Good thing we have a magnet, right? We did buy a magnet, yes. Gosh. Dude, well, I am so prepared now. When I first- You're prepared because me. That's, that's right. But magnet when, was my thing. When I first moved in here, I didn't have anything. I know. Look at us doing work. We should show them the tools after this. We will. We'll show okay, you. Cool. We'll show you guys the setup after we're done with this. But you know what? Let's use our. Let's use our tool. Hand, me the, hand me the, the scalpel. It's like you're going fishing. Come on, come on, baby. Get a big one. Oh, got him. Damn, we are good. <laughs> we are good. <laughs> gonna put some grease back on this bad girl. Let's go ahead, repeat that same step on the other side and we'll be good to go. Let's just take a second to appreciate how nice this Greddy Titanium exhaust is. That was surprisingly easy. Stock sway bar. Danny, let's see the, the aftermarket. Dude, that is seriously such a huge difference. Yeah, feels nicer all around. Put it next to this one. New bushings too. Yeah, new bushings and new mounts, which is cool. Yeah. Dude. Oh, the bushings are super squishy compared to these. These are, they're like rock hard. Yeah, they are. I'm sure on camera you guys can see a huge difference in the thickness between the ultra racing versus stock. That's crazy. I'll go ahead and put this one back on and give her a test drive. Hee <laughs> hee. Racing kit is now installed and ready to go. We tighten everything down. I'm really excited about I'm really excited to test everything out and, and see if there's a noticeable driving difference. I think there'll be. This is a lot of bracing, so especially when we actually take it to the track and I actually wake up to go drifting, I, I think there'll be a definite noticeable increase. Now I know a lot of people that go drifting don't run a rear sway bar, so I do have that to think about. But for purpose of the video, let's send it and see if it makes any difference. sound back in the rear but uh <laughs> it's fine you hear that <laughs> we've got a new sound back there but i check those out <laughs> you, you won't that. pussy <laughs> actually felt nice yeah it felt really good dude yeah. the 265 hey. <laughs> <laughs> you did not mean to do that <laughs> you were trying to just do a 180 and you did a freaking 540. <laughs> I will say, I've been in with you in the car a couple of times of you doing this now, and that one felt good. That was a good one. That one felt really good. What we think the issue is, the knocking back there is, 
My springs for the coilovers already had some sort of knocking with the stock sway bar. Now that we have the upgraded sway bar, it's so much thicker, so, so much more uh, stiff, I guess, that every time I make a hard turn anyway, it's compressing the spring even more now. So that's why it's knocking. <laughs> it's not that, the sway that's bar. my guess. There's no way the sway bar can make like a like a yeah, knocking no. sound like that. And we bolted everything down. The end links won't make that sound. So I think it's just uh, the preload on my yeah. coilovers, can which I we can always look into. That. What's up? rip it with your new mod like that's the best part yeah. for sure everything went good with the brz install all of the bracing felt amazing and there is definitely a noticeable increase in stiffness when driving the car i really can't tell anything until like i put it to the test on the track or but danny did feel it when we did the little donuts there's definitely an yeah. increase in stiffness for definitely. sure planet if you guys are interested in getting any bracing for yourself you can head to the link in the description check out ultra racing and i'll leave a link to their instagram as well on the screen before we end today's video me and danny just kind of did some moving around in the shop we put all of my cars on the side so that we have a nice pathway we can move cars all the way up to where the tools are now before we end i wanted to put up some of the banners that i have for either companies that i work with or sponsors and stuff like that because we do have a couple but let's go ahead and put up the rest All right, man, the shop looks really good. Before I end this, once again, look at it. <laughs> Me and Danny have had this ongoing battle ever since we got the BRZ tuned. He thinks that his Miata is faster than my BRZ. It's not, I don't think. I, I know, and we're gonna figure that out today. Oh I'll show God. you that yes. it is faster. If you guys wanna see who wins the race between my BRZ and his Miata, his boosted Miata, you can check out Danny's channel. It's in the description down below. It should. It will be out by the time this video yes. is done. So I'm going to end the video when we get back and after I go spank Danny. That was an amazing race. Danny just left, so I'm just tucking everything away. I'm going to take the bro van home tonight so all of the cars are back in the garage. And I don't know. I'm just like walking through here and looking at everything. And no matter what or how many times I come here, how many times I look at it, all of this just blows my mind. And... I don't know, I'm, I'm very, very humbled and very grateful for everything that I've been able to do, everything that I've accomplished, and I wanted to say thank you to all of you. I know it's cheesy or whatever, and I say it all the time, but seriously, thank you guys for watching my videos, thank you guys for supporting the things that I do. I don't know, even like my fitness stuff, I know not, a, not all of you are into fitness, and I'm a car channel or whatever, but uh, it's part of my life, and you guys support it, which is really, really awesome, so I'm glad I get to share that with you, and I don't know, just all of this, it just, blows my mind. I've worked so hard and you guys have seen me work so hard and I know, very, very grateful and very thankful for all of you. I gotta go home, Tiana's not feeling too well so I gotta go get food and stuff like that. Real life adulting stuff. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for always supporting me. None of this, none of this, what you see right now would be possible without the help of all of you. So if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.